download the MLM tool, go to www.recordair.com, click on Control Support, scroll down to MLM tool, and locate the 64 or 32 bit version. Click on that. Then scroll to the MLM tool update file, and again, choose the 64 or 32 bit version for your machine and download it. Install the MLM file, click setup. Click next and agree. Agree to install the drivers. Once you've done that, you install the update files. And you're done. Once the MLM tool is installed, you can open the tool. And you'll see that the browser opens a help file. So you can navigate by selecting the topic in the index on the left. Alternatively, you can search for it using the find function, and typing in the topic, and navigating through the list of results. Then closing that, uh, select your temperature unit that you would like it to, to default to. Click OK. And then the flow unit, if you have uh, flow sensing that you need. I agree to share some data with the developer. And then select the control features that you have um, added to your diffusers. You can connect through the Ethernet cable um, or USB through the MSTP connection. I'm going to connect to the serial number um, written on the back of the USB box that you may have been supplied with. Type it in and click connect. And once you have connected, you need to wait for uh, the diffusers to synchronize their information with the application. While we're waiting for that, notice that the diffusers are showing online. Uh, once it's fully synced, you'll see all the information from the diffusers. So there we go, this is the logical view. If you maximize the diffuser, you'll see the controllers attached to it. In this case, the diffuser controller and the onboard master. You could also have a wall thermostat connected which would also be displayed below the diffuser controller. Click on network on the network tab you will see um, the controllers side by side and then in the node list you will see all your nodes in a list. Now you can also uh, create a project by going to view and creating a project. It will either ask you to open an existing project or create a new one. I'm going to create a new project. We'll give it a new name, new project. So done that, click Save. And create a physical view again. Then you need to click on the section and connect. So again, you need to wait for it to connect. So you're seeing offline and online diffusers here. The offline diffusers show uh, the last save and compare uh, what the current diffusers are displaying so while it's collecting that information. 
it will show you that there's no discrepancy, so uh, just it's the same as the last save. So now we want to zone our diffusers so that they know uh, which diffusers are talking to each other. So in this case we're going to say that all the diffusers are in the same room or in the same zone. You can move the diffusers around on the physical view to the position that matches the floor plan. And we're going to give these diffusers a zone. You can either just select one or select one and then drag and drop the connections to each other. You can check if there's any conflicts by clicking on the table. In this case we're running with one zone, so only one, one zone shows, and then we can save that. So now all four diffusers are saved as zone one. But they're all grey, uh, meaning that they are not in control yet. So we'll notice send set point changeover all grayed out. So we want to activate that by clicking on master command under process and ticking sense changeover and set point and, and then writing. In this case I selected single so that only that diffuser is activated. So you'll see they all start to control now, they're in heating mode. You can see the rest of the diffusers are do not have set point or sensing activated, that's why they're grayed out. And the one I selected is active. So now I can adjust the set point. Um, I'm going to try and set it to 14 degrees C. I see that it doesn't accept that. And that's because my set point limits are preventing me from doing that. So I'm going to click on set point limits and adjust the minimum set point limit to 14 so that I can set it between 14 and the maximum of 26. So you yeah, can set it to 15. And you'll see on the left, uh, it's accepted that. And now the diffusers are going into cooling mode. So uh, the secondary diffusers are following the primary ones and they're all in cooling mode. So now if I'd like to change the layout, perhaps um, I've subdivided that room into two, um, uh, then I need to uh, divide or create two zones. So I've created a second zone by deleting the link between uh, one of the diffusers. And of course they grayed out again, and that's because the controller is not activated. So I'm going to activate this one. Making sense, change over and set point. Change over is the supply temperature sensor which will allow the diffuser to reverse direction if the supply temperature is hot. And there you can see uh, Zen 2 is in heating mode and Zone 1 is in cooling mode. If I change the set point on Zone 1 to 23, you'll we'll see it also goes in. Right, so now if I want to um, commission my diffusers and check the airflow values, make sure they're delivering um, enough air with my flow hood, um, I'm going to uh, drive all the diffusers open. So it's a simple matter of just going to process command again and clicking motor manual. Uh, you'll see I've clicked on all so that all the diffusers go yellow like this and they're into manual mode. And you'll see they it's written override uh, inside the diffuser controller block. So I'm going to go to process mode to go to and type in 100%. And then uh, the diffusers will start to drive open. Some of them are already fully open. There you can see all of them drive to 100%. So once they 100%, you can do your flow measurement. And, uh, and then when you're done, you just go back to process command and untick the box and use the control again. If you have uh, airflow measurement devices connected, uh, 
the airflow will actually be displayed um, in the diffuser controller box um, next to the manual, manual block at the top. 